we are walking to the, the Goonies, Goonies House. house. <laughs> We're going to go find the Goonies House. Uh, they do have a big sign. The gentleman that owns the house has done some really good sort of public affairs stuff, shall we say. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, what is so that is the information. I'm just going to stand in a second, sorry. <laughs> So that is the information that it asks you to do, but some people are not paying attention and we're being super polite. So you can park down to the right and you can walk up here. And again, there's quite a few little guidelines, which is kind of neat. I'm actually all for it. So let's take this small hike and see if we're the people that you're supposed to be and not the other tourists. I'm trying getting closer to the house, which is going to annoy people. Now, can you imagine riding your bike as fast as you can down this hill? And look, the Goonies house, we found it. This is so cool. And then you can imagine, I don't know his name, but the kid next door flying through the window on his zip line onto the porch. From that window right there into the porch right here. This is so cool. Awesome. What does it say in the window there? The Goonies. Love it. Awesome. It's actually a really nice renovated house actually. But there you go. I know Sandra's not wearing a microphone, but she's going to reach over to my chest and talk. But what do you think of that? I think this was really cool. I know it's a very quick stop and a quick walk up a and hill I, and, and have I've a look at a house. I've never seen the movie until we... Prior to coming here, literally I, about a week before we came down here. I think Chris, my son, said you haven't watched The Goonies. So he thought there was something <laughs> wrong with me or us. So we watched it howl and laugh. Oh, yeah. It was funny Bad, considering it's movie. an 80s movie. So we've seen the actual house now. Yeah. How... It's kind so of cool, cool to watch. Like I said, I can't remember. It was the, I think the Japanese kid or the Chinese kid that oh. was on the zip line that ended the, up on the Goonies. You have to watch oh. it, bottom line. We can't explain it to you, but just funny. But watch just being the there movie. is really fun. It's just, I know it's just a house, but you know, it was, I, I, <laughs> it was I don't hilarious. know. It's blah, 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 blah. 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 <laughs> but you know what? In Astoria, we didn't know till we were at the visitor center. How many movies have were actually been made here? Free Willy? Yeah, like I said, I thought Free Willy was made in San Diego. Well, the wheels are from San Diego. Right? Well, yeah, but still. Yeah. You know, um, Kindergarten Cop. I didn't know Kindergarten Learner, Cop was here. Yeah. Apparently, and the school's here and might be something that we're going to go and have a look at. I don't know. There's so many we just got to find out the address for the Kindergarten Cop school. Yeah. There's, like, tons of movies that have been filmed here. But it was a good We saw the Goonies house. We did. <laughs> Never say die! <laughs> so this is the Kindergarten Cop School. Uh, no parking at all down here. And it's literally one minute Your destination fr is on the right. from the Goonies house. So this is the school. Apparently it says it's permanently closed for some reason, but it, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it could be for summer holidays, that's probably what it is. But that is the Kindergarten Cop School. That's another pretty cool thing. That's really, really awesome. And this is Bruce's Candy Kitchen. And this is where they make the saltwater taffy. actually go in just here and watch it one day. Sorry. Okay. And I'm making the coffee out all the while. Look at that big roll of candy. We have a sample of it right here. Let's try it. An emporium of candies. It's an amazing place. And 
Here we come to the north end of Cannon Beach. Let's have a quick look here. So the tide it really is in. You get this river that flows this way to the ocean. Wow. It's a beautiful place. And then heading south, which is a nice if you come to this end and you can walk. You walk for miles along this beach and you can pop up into town at any time but yeah we're gonna try getting out there today and the weather's been helpful the clouds are breaking up so we're looking forward to this and you probably have seen in a post of mine in the past and i kind of like this coffee place it's called the sleepy monk organic coffee roasters I kind of like the flavor here. It's a quaint little place. Um, if you think about Cannon Beach being sort of three sort of towns, it's like you have the north end, the central, and the southern end. And Monks, sorry, Sleepy Monks is in the middle piece or right in the middle of the, there's not much else here. A um, Couple of hotels, rentals, couple of delis an artisan place and that's about it whereas the north end has like the town the very touristy area and then the southern portion which is that way has a, pretty much just residential oh the coffee bar is closed it's closed on thursdays really well there's a shock it's closed on thursdays very interesting all right, well, we're going to go to the beach. I think I saw a coffee something over here, which we're going to have to go and try out. There we go. Deli and espresso. We'll try that one over there. So we made it to the central portion of Cannon Beach and Haystacks Rock, where I'd love to find out what time of year the puffins come in. I don't know. Kind of like to see puffins in nature. And we did an overlook right down there. I don't know if you can see there's one yellow and white post here and there's another one just down the distance. That's where we sort of had a quick look at what was going on. And I think today we might, because the sun is out, but if we look behind us, how gray it is. So the, it's like it hits the foothills and darkens up, but at the ocean's edge right now, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna try and get the paddleboard out there and surf today, hopefully. Well, this is the sea foam. It is, I don't know what it is. Sandra calls it, it's like melted ice cream. Look at this lady's feet, covered in foam. Look at it all. And Bella had, I'll show you a, a picture in the description or in the corner, that Bella put her head down to sh snort some water and she did it with like a malted frosty on her head. It was quite funny. But then when the tide comes out, you get all this molten stuff come. Here it comes. Look at it. All flowing through us. Whee! There it is. All going out. Very funky. But there's some nice breakers out there. I don't know if I'll go out that far, especially with the tide going out right now. And here it comes again. Look at it all. Here goes Bella. I was like, what has she got on her brown paw? But it's the whiteness. And I, I thought she got a muddy paw, which was quite funny, actually. <laughs> Look at her. She's covered in it. <laughs> it just came in and it was just like 
beer foam. Look at Bella, she's covered. She's covered. She just comes in and waves. Small things please, small minds. Cool entertainment. Look at all these pelicans. Tons of them. So cool. Never seen so many. Get Sandra playing in this yuck, yucky foam. Oh, yo, Bella's going in as well. <laughs> that was gross. It really was gross. She is being silly. Turn around, he's coming in, turn around. Here we go. Come on, Bella. Look at it, it's like living, living, breathing. Look at the legs. Ah. Bella. <laughs> Bella is now white and not brown. <laughs> Now she's big. Now she's adding to it. <laughs> so you've seen us in the sun all day today. And I'm going to go backwards again. And I showed you this video earlier of the big black clouds. We've had those clouds behind us since we've got here. And it has been a beautiful day at Cannon Beach. So do not look at the sky and always think that it's not worth going to the beach. We found that the clouds will roll in over the ocean, but as soon as they hit the mountains, they sort of stall and they want to offload all of their water over the mountain range. But the coast can be in bright sunshine. So be aware if you see it, still head to the beach and check it out for yourself at beach level, because this Currently at 10 to 3 in the afternoon, it's still packed and sunny. There's a stack of rock. Uh, we tried to take some pictures of the birds here. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing some puffins, because I still have never seen one. Um, the problem is they are here between April and July. So you will miss them if you're here after. These guys' horns is peeling off. Look, what a beautiful animal! You can see he's trying to scratch it off. Actually, that's pretty cool. Actually, seeing it in the urban wild, shall we say?
was a campsite beach did not evade the foe nor did the Peter Adel evil looking stuff sad today. We leave this afternoon and we've come down to the beach to spend the mid-morning to mid-afternoon on the beach. We'll see how far that takes us or how long it lasts. Was she not happy today? She wants to stay here. We're already planning next year's vacation to come down here for two weeks. We're getting there. Hello everybody. Hello. We are creating this video for you because we I... did what? Andy did a silent movie. Yes, we did create this video we're about to redo right now on our way home from our trip. But when I came to edit it, unfortunately the microphones didn't quite work. I think it should be posted anyways and everyone will get a good laugh. So there will be Two versions. There'll be a picture in picture, I'm sure, of us. Very silent. <laughs> it's um, a good laugh. It is, because <laughs> you can't hear anything. Uh, we are February camping. As usual. And we want to thank you for watching the videos that we've produced so far. And it's taken all this time to do all the editing as we're not experts at it. So we would like to really thank you very much for watching the 12 or so episodes so far. And even though this is February, uh, again, we love camping. We just want to do a recap of our Oregon, California trip. What do you think? It was great, I loved it. Redwoods, crazy insane, in a good way. The trees, you almost feel like a little tiny ant when you stand beside him and you keep looking up and up and up and you still can't see the canopy, the top of it, like it's crazy. It's one of those, and I think we said it in the video, is the camera does not do it justice. Oh, we have an escapee. Come here, Bella. You coming here. up? Come here. Bella feels left out. <laughs> in she comes, there you go. Um, it was one of those, and I, I said it, Sandra wanted to go, I was apprehensive, but it was amazing to see. It really, we're in amongst trees right now and... Finally I got to go, yay! They do not do it justice here, nothing compared to Redwoods, they were phenomenal. Our trees here, don't get me wrong, they are beautiful, they have their own feel and vibe. Our trees like look like little toothpicks beside yeah. them. The drive-through tree, I was was that actually was a bucket list for me. Um, it was most unfortunate that we couldn't actually get the truck through. But again, these trees had holes in them that were designed. What were they? Fifties, sixties? You know, I say designed. However, you want to interpret designed. Grown. But around, you know, but they were for carriages. They're not designed for F one fifty pickup trucks with racks on the back. No, or big mirrors on the side. Trust me. We didn't break anything, but. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed going to at least three of them and we didn't go to see the other one. We thought the other one was very commercialized, but the two we did get to see were fantastic. 
Um, the swimming hole was a welcome break for us down oh. in California. That was a beautiful little place on the river there. And then that drive up and over to Reading was fantastic. Very slow. What was it? For 35 to 40 miles an hour. Very slow, very weavy. But that temperature, everybody said you're going to gain 20 degrees. And it definitely rose. That's for sure. And the temperatures were so, like, from extremely cold at night during the day, extremely hot. And yes, that drive gets really hot towards the middle between the Avenue of Giants and Reading, that's for sure, or the I-5, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. But the temperature's super hot. Um, be careful getting out of your truck to look at the views. Soles of our shoes were sticky. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mount Shasta was interesting. It was different. We enjoyed the drive up to the caldera or the cauldron, the volcano. It was very pretty to see the landscape from up there it was amazing uh, mcleod falls that was fun i enjoyed that yeah that was cold but enjoyable um very worth the very much worth the the walk down the trails not very far from the car park going for a dip a swim yeah paddle boarding on the lake siskiyou was good i wish i'd Thought, oh, I thought I actually got more video footage of that, but we didn't. But Beautiful lake. That was a long paddle, especially for this one here, who really enjoyed the swim. The temperature at Castle Crags uh, at night, very humid, very warm. Sticky humid. And the sights, as we said, very short. So be aware that if you're taking a 24-foot trailer, you might not get in on some of those places. So when it does say on the website, the length of your trailer, they mean it. Yeah. So don't try to bring something bigger because you're not going to make it at all. The drive in Northern California towards Crater Lake or Klamath Falls, uh, very diverse, very changing, very enjoyable. Long day again. Crater Lake was another one of those places where you could miss it and not miss it in a bad way. Like you could carry on on your drive and go, yeah, okay, we missed it. And that's what we did when we went to Bend, Oregon so many years ago. And we finally got to go there and it was definitely a shock. It's a all. must see. Yes. It really is must see whether you're staying there two, three, four days, you need to do it. I don't think any more than four, three nights is good. Two full days. Uh, if you come in like halfway through a day, you can do quite a bit at night, if, depending on the time of year, because the daylight lasts longer, obviously. What did we do? Two nights? Two nights, One and a half days. days. Yeah. And you could have done maybe half a day more, but there's unless you're fully into the hiking around that area, and don't forget it is part of the, the Pacific Crest Trail, there's quite a few hikes. But it, driving around the, the rim was amazing. And I, we kept stopping every single little pullout, because every single pullout gave a different huge perspective of a yeah. different look of the lake we don't know if we said in the video but we found out the reason why the boats weren't running and that was because they just invested in new boats uh, to go across the lake um, but they hadn't been certified by the US Coast Guard so they were trying to get that done in and around that time period when we were there so would we do the boat trip I think if we were to go back, I would do the. We boats. might, we might consider doing it because it would be a different outlook from the water up. Definitely, the perspective up the mountains and different, you know, the volcano in there and that, it would have been interesting. And the pirate ship. Yeah, so it would have been interesting to see what their tour is like if it goes around the lake, if it goes to a point and only back and forth. Uh, I think we do it. Was it 750 feet down on the trail? So it's a bit of a hike. This one again, you can't take the dogs. Um, so again, typical national park and state parks where the dogs can only stay within about 150 feet of the uh, visitor center and then you can't take them anywhere. So be aware of that. Like don't get us wrong that don't take your dogs, but if you're going to plan on just doing hikes Trips, yeah. and stuff like that, your dog, you can't bring And your, we don't have AC dog. in the little trailer. We can't leave the truck running on AC, so she would get hot and bothered, which we're not going to do. So, so plan your, definitely plan your trips. Yeah. If you are traveling with your dog, 
to certain areas, do the research where your dog can go on these trails if they are allowed? Uh, the next day was really busy, six and six hours on. Uh, that drive all the way to um, Tillamook and then on to Fort Stevens. Uh, we didn't do too much videoing that, we just wanted some R&R. &R. Um, just downtime. Downtime, we'd been on the road and we thoroughly enjoy Fort Stevens. There's lots to see at Northern Highway 101. Uh, even if you drop into Washington State, go to Long Beach, Cape Disappointment, um, like you saw Cannon Beach, Tillamook, Tillamook Cheese, the ice cream or the cream oh, oh, amazing. Yes. I mean, we know we had it all over our faces and our hands and this one was licking it all up, but uh, worth the trip. Um, I don't think I would deviate from anything we did on this trip. I thought we did everything right. I don't think we had any issues. And the then just have that downtime yeah. on the beach for a few days. And one thing with your pet on there, you can let them off leash. At the Fort Stevens area. At the Fort about, Stevens yeah. area. And you just go forever and ever and just nonstop. Yeah, you can drive on the beach. Um, you can do all of that. That was amazing. Um, what else was the... Um, yeah, I don't think I'd change anything on that side. The we would one. like to do the Highway 1 south of the Redwoods down into maybe San Francisco. We've both done San Francisco. I've done San Diego. We've done sort of that area, Carmen South. But I'd like to do Northern California on the Coast Road, I think. But anything the, else? The boardwalk. Oh, Samuel H. Boardman. That was nice. But it was really cool. Because every type of little area we stopped, you go just for a walk on well, what the hills, is it called the hillside or whatever, on the boardwalk that we did? I can't remember. But every little stop we did and you overlook into the ocean, it was just beautiful scenery. Little nook and crannies, arches where the, the walking, different areas of the boardwalk. And there's a map to explain where you need to stop if you choose to, to go explore. And just where the ocean has eroded these rocks and made arches, the moss, the different type of moss and that hanging off the trees, it's very peaceful and relaxing. And one thing, you could take your dog on yeah. this whole trail and walk through. It was getting hot in the afternoon, so we called it um, for her as well and it was just getting really busy on some of the trails that we did do so we just called it and we went back the next day and finished it off but absolutely beautiful scenic views very rustic yeah very very coastal rustic 101 pacific yeah. that's for sure weaving in between the trees and things just beautiful and then fort stevens we really like and you know again it was just downtime for us just being able to relax because we've been on the road so long of which Sandra asked for this year 2024 what are we going to do and we're going to actually what? do we are going to do something totally new for us we've not been in this area but then the latter portion we've done before so we might not video the second portion of this trip and we are going to leave Vancouver go down to Deception Pass which if you've watched some of our videos where the planes fly we're going to spend about four days down there. We're gonna go down the island, Whidbey Island that is, to the halfway point, take the ferry across to Port Townsend. So I'm so excited for this new part that we're doing. The ferry she's excited the for. The ferry. We've never done it, so we thought let's do something different instead of driving through Seattle, the Mayhem, Tacoma, yeah. et cetera. So the I-5 through Everett, to Seattle, do this. Olympia, Tacoma can take, I hate it. can take two hours, three hours to get through there. And the road rage from this one? Awful. Don't know what Awful. she's talking about. have no clue what she's talking I about. I just like sit back, close my eyes, pat Bella as we're going So through. we're hoping to hit halfway down. I forget the name. There is actually a fort there. We were down there at Christmas and we didn't, didn't even know this place existed. There's an old fort. Uh, a gun battery installment, absolutely amazing. We're not gonna stay there, we're gonna hit the ferry uh, real early and we're gonna drive the northern portion of Washington. Um, we're gonna drive to Ocean City, I think that's the town. We're gonna spend a couple of days there and we're gonna sort of 
Dilly do day, Dally. day trips from there. Dilly Dally. And then we're going to head down to Fort Stevens again and we're going to literally stay there for two weeks, which that Oregon portion we probably won't video. Um, of course we will. We'll see what happens with the first week where we're there. Uh, again, when we're at uh, Deception Pass where the jets are, it's like, hmm, you've seen that all before. So again, it might be a very short video. It might be a drive to here and then explore around the next portion and then drive to the next location. So it's not going to be as big and as long winded uh, video editing as what we've got going on with this trip. Uh, but we are looking forward to that um, and other than that we are weekend camping with the beastie that's behind us uh quite a or lot glamping. We're actually, oh that's one big thing we're actually taking this one with us so the reflection is coming with us on this three-week trip it's the first time it's done a three-week trip and a long drive so we might talk about fuel economy and stuff like that as well um, and see we know it tows well but it's going to be interesting. Hopefully it's going to be a lot less cost to us for fuel as well. So we'll see. We're looking forward to it. So something totally different. Yes. Because the year after 2025, we're doing something very unique. We'll talk about that in a year from now. No more to be said. <laughs> That's it. Um, thank you very much for watching this uh, series. It's been most enjoyable and I'm glad that you came along for a ride. Anything else you'd like to add? No. As always, we always have fun. Please subscribe and like. Hit that thumbs up button. And survive to be alive. Mm -hmm.